Pro cycling mechanics are certainly some of the best loved and possibly the most patient members of the pro cycling world. They're certainly very patient with our repeated requests for pro bikes and tech, but they also have to deal with a lot of very tough jobs. So we're at the Tour de France, we thought we should ask them what their least favorite daily jobs were on tour. What has to be one of the most repetitive, possibly one of the slightly more difficult jobs that team mechanics have to do repeatedly is to measure pro cyclist bikes and get their positions millimeter perfect. Pro cyclists can, at one end, be a particularly picky bunch of people when it comes to making sure that their bike is set up just right for going as fast as possible. So it means that team mechanics will employ jigs like the one behind me here, at Lotto NL Yumbo. They've probably all got spreadsheets that they're shared into that mean that they can see every rider's preferred bar width or every rider's preferred, we just saw them measuring the tip of the lever to the center of the fork distance. I don't know how you define that. Every rider's preferred reach because there are so many measurements on a bike, so many measurements to get right. When you do get them all right, the bike feels perfect and it's maybe a win or lose difference for your rider. So Risto, what is the worst job that you have to do as a pro mechanic? Yeah, as you know, talking to the media, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I would say from my side is the chasing down the millimeters from the guys. So set up the positions. It's one thing that what you have to do and get always right. And uh, yeah, another thing is always about the traveling, the packing, that you have everything with you, that you're not missing anything. That's also one thing. So there are some guys who can actually notice the difference between like a saddle height being a millimeter higher or a millimeter lower. Yeah, just, uh, some guys even sometimes say that they feel bad for that, that they feel it. <laughs> so. The guys who have been half of their life on the bike, they feel the millimeter directly. Cool, thank you. The stages where uh, the riders have a long transfer, let's say by an airplane or something, and then the staff have to uh, transfer by car. That's just a long drive, like takes all day or all night and kind of a waste of time. It's kind of, I mean, the Tour de France is a, is a race like any big stage race where you have to where you have to, you know, do all a lot of jobs, and any time where you lose seven or eight hours in the day, uh, just driving a vehicle from A to B, uh, for me that's a waste of valuable time where you could be like gluing tires, for example. <laughs> I was going to say that must be said with real feeling because in front of us now we have how many pairs of wheels is that? Uh, like uh, fifteen sets of wheels. Fifteen sets of wheels and the equivalent number of tubs behind us. I'd happily drive eight hours to not stick. Uh, 15 tubular tyres on. I reckon one of the toughest, most repetitive and possibly most tedious jobs as a pro cycling team mechanic is gluing, stretching and then fitting tubular tyres. A team might get through, let's say, 100 tubular tyres in the course of a three-week race, so that's a lot of replacing flat tyres, a lot of taking tyres off the rim, a lot of stretching, a lot of gluing them. So to get around that, they actually carry pre-stretched tires on their team trucks. So they've got old rims, they might have used at a race like Paris Bay or something like that. They put two layers of glue on the tubular tire just so that the base tape of the tub has soaked up a bit of glue, meaning they only have to put one layer of glue on, then stick the tubular tire on. They don't have to do any prep. And they carry those around in the back of the truck when their punches happen, which is probably every day, let's face it, and then they fit them and then they glue them. So we're before the Tour de France here, which means they've got a lot of stretching to do. Apparently they only fitted 30 to 40 new ones the other day. I reckon I've fitted about 10 in my life and I feel like I've done a lot. So what is the worst job that you have to do as a pro cycling team mechanic? I think it's going to be uh, working in the rain, eh? especially in the race when it's uh, really weather and you have to pull out for it to, to, to change a wheel or something. Yeah, that's really well, there we have it, a non-exhaustive sample of some of the least favourite jobs of the mechanics of the pro cycling peloton. But interestingly, a few of them couldn't really think of least favourite jobs, which just shows the level of dedication to their job and their love for the sport. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit share too. To subscribe to our channel, all you need to do is to click on our logo, which is on screen right now. There is also a link to our shop on screen. To see all of our videos from the 2017 Tour de France, click right there. And bike maintenance is something you really need to do. Check out our full bike maintenance playlist. Clear right there.